Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna let it boot up again. I went ahead and put in my yummy um, USB stick. I forgot it. So no, uh, my camera on the boxes, and uh, you can see most of the screen, but not all of it. Okay, system tools. Boot repair disk, DRBL. Boot repair disk wouldn't really help me, would it? I don't know anything in there that would help me. Antivirus tool won't help me. I just couldn't remember what was on my yummy deal USB stick. Yeah, okay, antivirus tool. Okay, I've already run these two. Cronus and ESET. Boot repair disk. Of course, there's nothing actually wrong with my system's boot that I know of anyway. Uh, but I, I was just thinking, well, if I hard shut it down again, so I'm going to click on it and see what it does. I want to see if it'll boot on this machine. I can't remember. No advanced options. I was going to see if it had things like boot to this. And boot. Some of them have a sort of like a have a boot system, you know, that you can just boot to the hard drive or whatever. And, I have this set up to see mostly the, the left side of the screen um, where all the menus and icons usually are. There, I think it moved a little bit. Doesn't see the whole thing, but I can't hold still, so I know a shaky video is really. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It does work on here, but. Uh, I'm not trying to use that part anyway. Oh, it worked up pretty quick. System tools. You can't see that on the camera. Uh, departed. I'm going to open it. I'm just going to quit that boot repair disk because I'm not going to be doing that. Now, departed. There's my NTFS. That's the Windows 7 partition. Fat32, 1.86 gigabyte. Oh. Huh. And see, I just got through putting this. There's nothing wrong with my uh, SD card. But even uh, G Part is not seeing it. And it's a Fat32. So I guess it's not really. G parted, it's this system itself. It's not showing it to the operating system. But what I'm going to do is use this to do a normal shutdown and just hope that somehow that'll make the BIOS straighten itself out. <coughs> I'm putting it in the slot where the USB was. See if it does anything besides going back to Windows. You shouldn't have to fight this. This is actually one of my worst machines for booting to. Uh, oops, I wasn't fast enough. I decided at the last minute to. Well, I made it. It's one of my worst machines for uh, for booting to this SD card adapter. It's great. Whenever I haven't done a hard shutdown, it's fine. But. Uh, I'm going to hit the hard drive and just see instead of doing a hard shutdown let's see there should be a way to cancel doesn't tell me uh, anything I'm having to peek around my box and everything escape control alt delete might, might work let's see never know at least I can do that. It's not, you know, it's not locked up or anything. And I don't know why I didn't think about doing that before. Usually that doesn't help. It usually leaves it in the same state it was already in. I guess I'll wait instead of trying to hit. I can't see it. 
can barely see it. I have to peek around the box. Can't see it in time. Yeah. Like I said, I do not want to go into Windows. So, uh, I don't think you, you can hard set it down as many times as you want, and you're not going to get what you want here. I got to thinking this kind of hit me, I guess, when I woke up this morning or this evening or whenever it was. I, co I, I think this computer's plugged into a power strip. And I could maybe turn that power strip on and off, but then that also turns off everything on that power strip, which I know my audio amplifier is plugged in, and my clock is, and if the clock, yeah, same thing. If the clock doesn't have uh, backup, ba I don't know if the backup battery is any good in it, and I'd have to reset my clock and all that junk. I'm going to put this one... I'm wondering if uh, I'll plop. I'll try that again. I plop boot manager. I'm kind of thinking in the past it may be that without the PS2 keyboard, it quits working for me once you hit that selection of the USB. Can't remember. I mean, on some machines it may do that. Usually the older ones, and this is uh, not very old at all. It's uh, at least by my standards. It's um, I don't remember the year that this motherboard is, but it's the newest one I got. Within within three to four years old, and it still won't fit the screen to where I can see everything. See CD-ROM floppy. I know hard drives are up there. there may, maybe there's only one hard drive. So there's my list. Oh, there's probably one, two, three, four. The strange thing is above the four, that doesn't look like a three. So I don't know. Hitting enter doesn't do a thing. Tab doesn't do a thing. So I think I lost the keyboard when I do that. I think that might have happened to me before. I think maybe it's because I don't have it's not working well with the PS with the USB. Because that would be the other thing I could do is well, it doesn't matter if I can't get into I started thinking, well what if my keyboard won't work in the uh, even if I get into back into my USB stick but it's not going to matter yes yeah, see when I hit control I'll delete nothing happens no matter how many times I hit it so I've lost my keyboard but yeah okay I, I see that now Ow. turn it right back on when I get something that I know should work, I get really determined. I also get, after a while, I get aggravated. Last a couple hours ago, I was to the point I feel like throwing things. So I thought I better quit. Well, I normally, I don't, I don't usually even get that way with this stuff. But well, I hadn't started right after I woke up. That's not a good time to start doing something that gives you trouble. I've already tried those other boot things. What was? Yeah, grub disk two. Oh, it hung up. It wouldn't work for some reason. Yeah, test. Oh yeah, well I I guess I could get up there and grab a CD. Try that. I see Linux. Netboot Core Plus Fedora. I bet you Fedora can see my. I'm gonna hit enter and get it to boot on up. I bet it can see my uh, my SD card, whether or not the BIOS can or not. Yeah, but I, I well, of course the plop's gonna be the same either either way. I mean, it's not gonna I'm gonna show the command line so I can see if there's any errors. 
pulp's going to be the same either way. Um, I mean, if anything, it'd have been an older version as far as it, if I'm losing the keyboard or any of that stuff. But a lot of this stuff is real if and or but. You know, you're not quite sure what's going to happen until you try it. Okay, it's mounted a lot of drives over here on the left. There's yeah, there's one that's not even oh well, how far? There's my mouse. So there's the trash and another and the actual file what is calling the file system, which would be a live file system. That's not showing up on my phone screen, but that's alright. Uh what was I gonna do? Sardu. Okay, that's probably the one I'm booted to. Oh, it'll be a 64 gigabyte if it next says it. But I think it's named Sardu too. That's the reason I'm going. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, I'm going to open up a um, system. Oh, oh yeah, this is that security one. It's got all kinds of things. Check root kit. I could run that on that drive, but I should have had plenty of root kit checkers already run. This time I won't try to run G parted. I want to try to run one that's for the disk. If it's in here, let's see, I think it's just called disk something. Not disk scrubber. Wouldn't want that. Okay. All these with the same icon are not going to be what I want. Maybe it's not in the system. May not be on this this one. That stupid icon, that ether editor cap icon is taking up all the space there. Makes you think that's the only thing in there. But it's not. Security lab. So I think the only thing that'll deal with drives, hard drives, is uh, G parted. Let's just open it up real quick and see. Since it's a FAT32 drive, it shouldn't matter whether I was running off of the Bain or Fedora. I should recognize it. FAT32 Sardu, 29.8 gigabyte. That's it. But for some reason, I don't know what it is about Fedora and the Bain, but Fedora is much better at recognizing and mounting stuff. And uh, can't mount it. Can't mount it or unmount it, huh? Why? And see, here's the. Uh, that's the one that I'm running off of. That's just a two gigabyte, one point eighty six. Here's my TFS two thirty two. So that's that two hundred and fifty gig hard drive. Okay, let's just do this. Well, let's look at the manage flags, boot LVA. Okay. information no errors if there was any problem with it it would show that right there no problems errors or anything I hit check actually I'm scared to do that because sometimes it actually causes more trouble causes trouble when you don't have any trouble check and repair the file system well there's nothing wrong with it all right let's do it it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I just hate to lose all the junk I work so hard getting set up on it. Okay. I'm checking for errors. Is it even going to try to automatically grow the file system to... Uh, the partition. Hmm. That's what it's trying to do right now. 
it's already uh, calibrate calibrate dev sga1 check file system for errors it was good okay everything is good okay now we'll see if I had some sort of uh, damage that caused that machine not to see it I'll go ahead and of course when I shut well it didn't help a while ago when I shut I was gonna say when I shut this down it's got used 14.09 gigabyte unused 15.73 gigabyte okay when I shut this down I will uh, take both of those sticks out of there <coughs> Stand. I'm going to leave the, the SD card in there. It just needed to be turned off and turned back on to reset it after you do something like that to it. When you come, you change the partitions or uh, even with SD cards, I think it turns out better. I think you're less likely to have errors on them. In my experience from doing it the last few years, we've formatted them quite a few, especially uh, well USB sticks. Oops, no recognize. I will recognize it. Same as usual. Same as it ever was. I'll put it in a different slot. Okay, so what's my other alternative? Another pl another plop boot manager on a different CD or whatever. I can't see that actually helping. Other than maybe it would fit the screen. But uh, powering off the machine. Might be the only other thing. You do need to pay attention that this thing is in all the way because it slides way too easy. The ones that actually, it's a different brand that's in there, but I've been hitting it and pushing it in every time, making sure it's in all the way. Uh, the the, the, the uh, adapter is a different brand than the SD card, and so there's like a little bit a little point on there that you can kind of see by my, top of my finger there uh, is a little smaller on these than it is on the brand that it came with but uh, it's up I can stick it in anything else works fine okay so I'm gonna stop the video I want to go over there and uh, Power off the mission. Power. Uh, well, I can't. I could go back there and just unplug it. I might crawl around there behind the machine and uh, unplug it and replug it back in. See if that makes it reset the BIOS. I've been through and through that BIOS and I never saw anything to let me manually set it to what it was going to boot to.